So in this video, we'll be talking about what a brewing ratio is, show some practical examples on how to use the brewing ratio, and also how the brewing ratio impacts your cup of coffee. So what is a brewing ratio? Well, let's Google it. I want to find a brewing ratio for the French press, so I'll just type in French press ratio, and the first thing I see is, bam, 1 to 15. This ratio means that for every 1 gram of coffee you'll be using to brew, you will need to use 15 grams of water, or 15 milliliters. Looking online, you can see that there are many different brewing ratios for the French press. Just a quick Google search and I find numbers ranging from a 1 to 12 ratio all the way up to 1 to 18. So what's up with that? Why is it such a big range in ratios for the same brewing device? I can't stress this point enough, but brewing ratios are just a guideline. It's important to know that you can tweak these just like any other variable in your recipe. So let's dive into some practical examples. Let's say we want to brew with our French press today and we'll be using a 1 to 14 brewing ratio. So you're having some friends over and you know that you want around 3 cups of coffee. Now let's work backwards from that. I'll measure out a cup of water and I'll see that it's around 200 milliliters, meaning I want three times that, which is 600 milliliters. Now that we know how much coffee we want to end up with, we will use the brewing ratio to figure out how much coffee we need to use. Take 600 and divide it by 14. You will end up at around 43 grams of coffee. So example number two, well, your bean bag is nearly depleted and you don't have the same amount of coffee beans that you usually use for your recipe. How can you figure out how much water you need to brew with to use up the remaining beans in your bag? You measure out 18 grams of coffee. Now to figure out how much water you need to use to brew these 18 grams of coffee, take 18 and multiply it by 14. This will give you the amount of water you need to use to brew with your 18 grams of coffee. So what can a brewing ratio do for you? Well, I love this chart from Good Folks Coffee, and it really showcases how you can use ratios in a practical sense. This chart shows the relationship between the brewing ratio and TDS, a measurement showcasing the concentration of coffee. The points describe the mouthfeels you can get by tweaking the two variables. A lower ratio means less water used, less extraction, but the end result is more concentrated. On the flip side, if you're using a higher ratio, you'll be using more water, which means more extraction, which also means a less concentrated brew. And that's it for this video. I hope you've learned something new about brewing ratios. If you have, hit that like button, and if you like the content, feel free to subscribe below. I also have a Instagram account that I post quite often on, and that you can find right over here. Peace.